May the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be upon you and your entire family. Today, we pray, Father, that your blessings come upon our lives and that your justice goes before us, preparing our way. Lord, we present before you all injustice against our lives and our home, asking for a supernatural intervention from you. We pray for restitution, restoration, miracles, and liberation in the name of Jesus. May your mighty hand be upon us, Lord, making us prosper in our journey and leading us to advance and conquer all that we need, knowing that you are in control of all things. We declare and release words over our lives, words of advancement, prosperity, blessings, miracles, good news. The miracles of the Lord will be released upon our lives, and we will be honored and blessed with your presence. Today, the Lord will do great things in the lives of those who believe in his power. Do you believe? Whenever God places something great in our hearts, it's because he wants us to have a great harvest in our lives. You may be lost today, you may be in need. We tend to think that our miracle will come if someone has compassion on us, if someone helps us. But no, the miracle is in our hands. Your life will change the moment you sow an uncommon seed. If we want something extraordinary in our lives, if we want to advance supernaturally, we also need to plant in an uncommon way. But what is an uncommon seed? It is something that God puts in your heart for you to do. Listen to the wise, and you will walk in high places. If you listen to negative, envious people, you will always be a failure. The instruction you follow is the future you create. O oh Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust, save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands. If I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yet, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul, and take it, yet, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about, for their sakes therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people, judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which salveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword, he hath bent his bow, and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death, he ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he traveleth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Lord, I pray for every person who is praying with me at this moment. The justice of the Lord does not delay. The justice of the Lord does not fail. I pray now that the ashamed and confused all those who have risen against your children, evil will not prosper, for your children are protected by you. 
I pray and nullify at this moment every curse spoken against your children. May every malicious action directed towards this person fall to the ground. I pray for God's justice to come upon this life. May all harm, Lord, be turned into blessings, prosperity, and good news. Turn it into great opportunities, extraordinary moments of honor, blessings, and joy. So that your name may be glorified through the lives of your children. I cancel every action of the enemy that seeks to hinder the lives of your children. I pray now, Father, asking for a release, an unlocking upon the life of this person. Deliver us from all evil. Keep envy away from us. And I declare in the name of Jesus that the justice of God is entering into your life. The Lord is anointing you at this moment. The justice of our mighty Lord is with you right now. Amen. Glory to God.